Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So one, yes, yes, I know the title was a bit of clickbait. I know I wrote it. This is why you're here. Uh, it's because it's a topic that I've also wanted to cover a while ago. Um, it's something that I keep seeing over and over, and I think it is something that we actually need to discuss. And excuse my French here, it's because the topic is a load of BS. Um, I keep seeing a lot of financial YouTubers or other people out there constantly making videos talking about exactly how much money you need to make by a certain age. These videos are, one, of course, clickbait, but two, the generalized ideas that they're meant to make you sad in some sort of way, to make you feel like you're not doing enough. What do you mean by the time you're 20, you don't own 15 houses? You're 25 and you, you aren't worth half a million dollars? These videos used to uh, really grab my attention and drag me in because years ago, even before I started investing, these videos were already existing. They were popping up all over the place. And I would constantly see these like bros sitting in a room. And, they, and I remember there was even one recently and I was like, what are you talking about? Where this guy was like, yeah, dude, I used to think like making 250,000 a year was a lot. And he was like, what? He's like, yeah, you know, like you got to make like 15 million a year. And I was like, who? Who, who exactly has to make 15 million a year? One of the more toxic parts of this conversation is that the vast majority of these people who actually make these videos actually grew up rich or got money from somewhere. That's, a, that's the part of the video that they never actually end up telling you. A lot of other people have looked into these influencers and these other people. And a lot of them either had, and I say it this way, mommy and daddy's money. And or at some point, they actually like got, how do I say this? They got rich from something that they only had access to because they ended up going to a private school, knew the right people and kind of shuffled their way into the system. And or here's another really popular one. A lot of YouTubers, for those of you who don't know, um, usually sometimes here's a here's a little weird secret. A lot of those YouTubers don't even have money. What they do is they present a lifestyle to all of you that they do have money. They end up making money from YouTube and then they actually show you how much money they made from the YouTube and ends up getting them more viewers. The point is, um, there is not a number. There is literally not a number and it also fluctuates completely differently. Part of the problem also with those videos is that they're telling you not only by what age you should have money, how many assets you should have and all these other things, it's usually not applicable to a wide range of people. Why you might ask? Because if you don't live in New York, your living expenses are very different than they are in Texas, than they are in Mexico City, than they are in Argentina, than they are in Toronto, than they are in London, then they are in parts of South Africa, then they are to Cambodia, then they are to Tokyo. These numbers don't ever like actually mean anything except for if you are going for a very specific thing for a very specific class of people, depending on where you're actually trying to like land on this spectrum. This is why a lot of times you hear these people talking about, well, like I only made 5 million last year. It's like, oh, that's cool. Well, his rent is 2000 so if he had made 24000 he would have been able to pay his rent. So what exactly are you... The point of the video is not to actually get too far um, off track. Um, I make this video as kind of like a... Um, I don't want to say like an eye-opener, but it, it's, it's more of a... I know that we all have a tremendous amount of pressure to be something or have something. Or by a certain age, if we aren't rich enough, if we don't have a certain amount of thing, if we haven't found the one who we're supposed to be with forever, if we don't have X amount of homes, if we don't have X amount of money in our bank accounts, these videos aren't going to help you. I don't know who needed to hear that. I don't know if this will ever actually even help you sometime in the future. You clicking on those videos is trying to give you something because you feel like in some ways that you're not enough or you need to be more. And then the issue is, is that when you click on those videos, you see these other people who already had millions from their parents or from some like hyper luck thing. And they tell you that you should be doing better. You should be doing more. You should be s s sleeping less. Sleep for four hours a day. Get up in the morning at four o'clock and go jogging. Why? Like in what way would that actually help you to be motivated, especially when you already have a normal job that you have to go to and are trying to make ends meet? And exactly in what way is that going to help you make $25 million a year? 
the societal pressures that we have around making money are tremendous. A lot of this, of course, has to do with social media. It's very easy. I saw something about this a couple of weeks ago. They were talking about that we are the first generation who has like full access to everyone's lives. So before they were talking about in the 70s and 80s, there weren't really that many shows or TV shows or anything that kind of showed like the lives of like the wealthy. But now you look and we have the Kardashians, we have all these other shows and people kind of say, well, look at what they have and why don't I have that? Well, and I was going to say something mean, but you know what the Kardashians have been doing and all the other uh, dramatic things that they've gone through. But sorry, just it's just more of a hyper keeping up with the Joneses thing. And then people keep continuing to, to make these videos trying to basically make you feel bad or make you feel like that you should be doing a whole lot more. And this also even extends across the spectrum. I have a lot of friends who are like relatively... The word's not wealthy, like they're well off, like they do well for themselves and you would you would think they're broke. They, they have everything and they feel like they have nothing because they continue to watch these videos telling them that, you know, you make 15000 a month, that's not enough. What you should be doing, and this is not to say not financial advice, it's more of a this is just a logical thing. What you should be doing is saving money. And I know it's not that attractive. I know it's not that sexy. I know it's not like the best amazing thing that you've heard in the entire world. I've made other videos years ago where I was discussing what people should actually have as financial goals. And it's not like have half a million saved by 20, have 2.5 million saved by the time you're 30. What you should be doing is like, once again, because life is actually hard, is just like saving money, making sure to like cut corners where you can, uh, getting rid of things that you don't need and selling them, using that extra money that you have to put towards retirement. Once again, I know it's not the most glamorous, amazing, beautiful thing, but this is why I always tell you, especially in the other videos, if you have extra money at the end of the month after you've paid all your bills and everything else has been paid, use that to invest. Investing is actually the way for you to get tons of money essentially without having to like do less and not actually having to do any type of like physical and or manual labor. Um, yeah, just a bit of a different video. I didn't mean to spend too much time on it, but it's more of a, I, I, I get quite annoyed. If you've been following this channel, you've definitely seen my other videos that I've made about other uh, finance YouTubers. I don't name them, but I have copied and mimicked their videos before, or at least the titles of it, because it's really frustrating to, I, we all know people who are like, <laughs> are struggling, haven't made it, or like just simply are going about their daily lives. And what ends up happening is they get, end up getting swept in this world where they think that I'm 27. I just watched a video with an 18 year old who owns three businesses. What have I done with my life? What's wrong with me? Why am I not doing more? And it just kind of tears you down. This is, I, I last point, I mentioned this before, if you're investing at all, you are ahead of, this is kind of sad, you're ahead of billions of people on the planet. If you actually have been in crypto for a while and you've seen your portfolio grow, if you've been in stocks and you are getting dividends in some sort of way and you continue to build that up over the course of the next 10, 15, 20 years, and eventually at some point from doing all of that, you make enough money monthly from your dividends and from your staking and from or from your crypto if you've cashed out to be able to like buy a place and or live off of the dividends, you have won. Even if it's something as simple as only like three or 4,000 per month, you're doing far better than billions of other people on the planet. And a lot of times it's difficult to lose uh, sight of all of that because we keep hearing how we have to do so much better and we have to make so much more than the person sitting next to us because everyone else on YouTube and everyone else is living these wonderful, fantastic lives and we have to always try and strive to do the exact same thing when all it's doing is just exhausting all of us. Yeah, so um, you, 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 you're, there, there's not a specific number you need to make by a certain age. There is not any goals that you particularly have to meet. What you should be doing is simply saving for a rainy day and also investing, period. And then as time goes on, it accumulates, you get more money, and before you know it, you've made it. Yeah. Try not to make a too long video because I could have literally kept on rambling for a very long time because I keep seeing these annoying videos. I do sincerely hope that you have all enjoyed. I do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.